All right, here we're going to look at another example of solving a homogeneous differential equation by doing a little change of variables. So here we have dy over dx equals y to the fourth plus y times x to the third over x to the fourth. So again, we can notice that this is a homogeneous equation since each term, again, each term in this case has a degree a degree of 4. All right, so to solve this, we'll take our equation. Let's see, I wrote them a little backwards there, so x cubed times y. Not for any reason, uh, I just accidentally wrote the x first. So, Okay, so there's our differential equation. Again, what we do is we multiply by 1 over x to the degree. So again, uh, that's going to be x to the fourth. So numerator and denominator by 1 over x to the fourth. That'll leave us with y to the fourth over x to the fourth. We'll have x cubed times y over x to the fourth. And then we'll have x to the fourth over x to the fourth. But we can just uh, simplify this. I'm going to write this as y over x all raised to the fourth power. Um, x to the third over x to the fourth will leave an x in the denominator x to the fourth over x to the fourth will just be one. All right, so we've got dy over dx equals y over x to the fourth plus y over x all over one. I don't know why I'm still writing the over one. We can obviously drop that part. So I'll do that in just a second. Um, let's see here. So. The other thing, uh, well, what we're going to do now is our substitution. So we're going to let v equal y over x. So if we multiply by x, that'll give us y equals v times x. We've seen if we take the derivative with respect to x, we'll get dy uh, over dx. And then we'll have, let's see, so again, the derivative of 1x is 1. So we'll have v. We'll leave the x alone. The derivative of dv will be uh, dv over dx. So this will be one equation that we use. Notice if we uh, do our substitution, again, dy over dx, if we do our substitution with v equaling y over x, we'll get that dy over dx will just be, well, v to the fourth plus v. So there's our other equation involving uh, dy dx. Well, we'll just set these equal to each other v plus x times dv over dx will equal v to the fourth plus v. Well, we can just subtract v from both sides. So that gives us x times dv over dx equals v to the fourth. And again, this is just a nice little separable differential equation. So we can multiply the dx over. We can multiply both sides by 1 over x. So there's our x dx that's been moved over. Uh, we've got our dv. We'll leave that on the left side. Well, we could multiply by 1 over v to the fourth. And again, now we're going to integrate both sides. Well, on the left side, we're integrating v to the negative fourth dv. Um, and then we've got the integral of 1 over x dx. Well, here we'll get v to the negative third over negative 3. We'll get the natural logarithm of x plus c. So this is 1 over uh, v to the positive third. We can multiply by the negative 3. All right, and again, the last thing I'm going to do here is substitute in. So recall v, we said that was y over x to the third. All right, so this is y to the third over x to the third. So equivalently, we'll get x to the third over y to the third equals negative 3 times the natural logarithm of the absolute value of x plus c. And again, I think this is an equation that we can solve for y. So we can multiply the y to the third over to the right side. Give myself a little more room. Uh, we can multiply the y to the third over to the right side. And we can divide by the negative 3 times the natural logarithm of x plus c. 
And I guess the last thing we can do here to solve for y is we can just take the cube root of both sides. So we'll have the cube root of x to the third over negative 3 times the natural logarithm of the absolute value of x plus c. And then on the right side, we'll just be left with y. I guess we could even simplify this a little more. We could take the cube root of the numerator, which would just leave us with x. And then we would still have the denominator. We would still be taking the cube root of that. So I'm going to raise it to the 1 -third power. And that would be another way to express our solution. So again, uh, we've got the y isolated. I don't see much more that we can do here. So now we've got our general solution to our differential equation.